Hey everybody, this is Eric for the Little White House. And today I wanted to tell you a story that if it wasn't so sad, it would actually be funny. Last Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day, my friend and I were working on a pile of wood chips in my driveway. We went in to have a bite to eat, and when we came back out of the house, the police officer was writing us a ticket for parking on my property. Actually, what they said is that it is their property because they claim a certain amount of the frontage by the street. Now, according to what the police officer said, the city, or the village as they like to be called, claims from the street up to the sidewalk. However, as you can see, there is no sidewalk going through my front yard. And there never has been since 1976 when my parents bought the house. On the other side of the street, the sidewalk ends at the house right across the road from me. The lady there got a ticket. But just down the street, there were two cars parked on the street side of the sidewalk that never got ticketed. While I was talking with the police officer, I asked him what would happen if I ceased to mow the part that the village or city claims as their own. And he informed me that then he would have to write me a ticket for not keeping up my property. Question. Is it my property, or is it theirs? So, let me throw this in the mix. My wife told me the other day that there were people wanting someone to contact them about living in a ghost town. I wonder, you know, sometimes God works through adversity to move people to where he wants them to be. Do you think that might be the case here? I'd love to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching. God bless, and see you next time.